Capital Drama Club, the Capital Region's only high school theater talk show. We would like to thank our friends at Guanhoha for supporting our drama club. I'm Sophia Benny, the president of Scotia Glenville Drama Club, and today we are here with Ethan Eggleston and Heather Hayes, who played Mr. Applegate and Lola from South Glens Falls production of Damn Yankees. Hi guys, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Um, so now, as fast as you can, Heather, can you tell me the um, summary of Act One of Damn Yankees? Ready, set, go. Okay, so Joe and Meg are married, and they're like living life. Joe's always watching baseball on TV, and Meg's not too happy about it. And she's like, oh, I wish I could play baseball because the Senate is always losing. And then Applegate's like, ooh, I'm here. I can make you young again. And so then <laughs> Joe's like, I don't want to leave my wife because I wouldn't be able to be married to her. And so then Applegate says that you can only <laughs> that you can be young for only a little bit of time and then you can go back if you want to and then he's like okay and then he gets on the baseball team and he's like I really want to go back to my wife so Applegate's like I'm going to bring my friend to seduce you which is Lola so you want to stay young forever with her and um they have they get they meet and then she seduces him and he's like ah I'm not really feeling it <laughs> and so then <laughs> <laughs> they start like winning games and Applegate's all mad at Lola for not doing well and she's trying to think of ways to seduce him and then there's this like talent show thing you have to end for some reason <laughs> <laughs> we perform and that's the end <laughs> of Act 1 <laughs> <laughs> oh my god accurate? <laughs> oh my I probably god. forgot so much stuff <laughs> oh my god um, Ethan, all right, as fast as you can, act two. Ready, set, go. Okay, uh, so basically act two, it's like, oh my gosh, Joe wants to go back to his life still, but Applegate's like, uh, I have a plan to trick him. So Joe comes to his house, and he's like, yo, I just want to say that um, I'm going back to my old life after this game, uh, because it was like the final game of the Senators. So Applegate's like, hmm, I have a plan for this. So he sets up like a, like he and, he set, he tells <laughs> a reporter that, uh, Joe is actually in reality Shifty McCoy so he's like trying to make up this false image of him so it can get him in trouble so basically he, uh, he has a plan and he's mad at Lola right now and because Lola's not following his orders so he's like you're gonna do this you're gonna do it or else I'm going to punish you so he sends Lola off he sings this song about all like all the things that happened in history that was bad like all the murders all the deaths and all that so then it goes on into the next scene where uh, there's this hearing about Joe and how he's like an imposter. And then we find out that um, his wife, his like wife from the past, uh, came in and she defends Joe, trying to say like, oh yeah, we knew him, we know, we know Joe. And then uh, he's cut loose and I'm like, hmm, okay, that's interesting, didn't expect that. Um, and then the next scene goes into Lola and Joe and Joe's like, oh my gosh, I given up, like I'm, I'm Applegate's now. And Lola's like, oh, don't worry about it. It could be with me. And they sing this song about being lost and their souls being lost together, a little dance. And then after that, it goes into the final game. And uh, Applegate gets really angry at Joe for some reason. Uh, and he turns Joe back into his old self. And then he still wins the game, which really takes off Applegate, so that's interesting. And then he goes back to his wife, and this makes Applegate very desperate and very upset. So he tries to like convince Joe to go back to his own self. He's like, hey, you could be a hero. You could still win the World Series, look. And he like presents Lola, and like Lola still wants you. Like You can go to Lola, go back to her. But then he's like, no, I'm going back with my wife. And then Applegate uh, stomps off, and he's like, I own you, you belong to me. And then that's the end of the show. Awesome, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, what what are your what's your favorite number in the show? Uh, oh, my favorite number. Um, it would have to be either six months out of every year because I love the soloist in it, um, or it would have to be two lost souls. Yeah, I think mine either. Two Lost Souls, and I really like Ethan's song, Those Are the Good Old Days. It makes me feel <laughs> <so hot. laughs> Awesome. So uh, we're going to play a little game, this or that. Uh, we're going to start with Heather. So Hamilton or Dear Evan Hansen? Dear Evan Hansen. 
um, either vlogging <laughs> rehearsals or choreo rehearsals? Choreo. Uh, <laughs> wait, can you repeat that? Oh, wait, is that mine? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> you both can answer. Um, <laughs> Ethan, blocking or choreo? <laughs> oh, blocking, of, for sure. <laughs> I'd have to say choreo, but we can agree to disagree. Um, would you guys rather be in a show stopping number or a solo ballad? Solo ballad. Show stopping. Um, overtures or finales? Finales. Finale. Um, Damn Yankees or Susical? Damn Yankees. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that's so hard. Um, coaster behind. <laughs> coaster looking down on you from behind. <laughs> oh gosh, it's Tommy's it's looking at me. Um, mm, um, uh, I I have to go with Damn Yankees because. Honestly, I think I like the characters more than Susical. Yeah. They, they, they're very, two very different vibes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Very different. Um, so you both went to the High School Musical Theater Awards last year, correct? Mm-hmm. Um, you were there for different shows? Mm-hmm. Um, what, what were your experiences like? Heather, do you want to go first? Yeah, I thought it was so much fun. Like, the, end of, the vibe there was, like, really cool. Like, I should have dressing room with you guys. That was so yeah, much fun. Was really fun. <laughs> there, I think yeah. everybody was just so nice. This makes me really happy, and I'm really sad I don't get to go back this year. But fingers crossed for next year. Yeah. <laughs> so my experience was like it was it was amazing. Like I always it felt awesome to be there and experience all the talent that was there along with like everyone else you know because you're there with your showmates and then you're there with other people and you get to share this experience with them and like you get to meet so many new people and so many new friends who have the same interests as you and it was just so awesome yeah yeah I thought it was a wonderful time to get to meet so many different people um yeah, and I'm really upset that, you know, they didn't have it. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. This was really awesome. I be here. <laughs> thank you for having us. It was so awesome. I really enjoyed this thing. I've watched like all of your videos. Oh, I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really- Keep it all alive since like everything is getting canceled, you know, now like yeah. Broadway it's pretty crazy yeah yeah but thank you guys for being here it's so fun of course all right right. see you guys next time on drama